Welcome to Chat Chow, a weekly online show celebrating the personalities in the food industry. We're in downtown LA at Umami Contestant, where chefs from around the country have come together to form one restaurant. Today we're speaking with Adrian Biggs, drink innovator at The Back Bar, Chris Cosentino, creator of Pig, and Adam Fleischman, the man behind the Umami brand. Teal Goose, so it's a contemporary cocktail I've created for the menu here in Umami right, Contessa. Right. Uh, we have truffle salt, nice. um, we have fresh celery and kiwi juices, a little, obviously you need to balance it out, so a little lime and sugar, and right. then finish off with Grey Goose Vodka. Alright, well cheers! It's delicious! It's delicious, so it should be so nice good. and clean and fresh. Definitely! I kind of like to think of it as um, a little cleanse, but with an alcohol right. kick. What kind of spirits do you think best complement umami, the flavors? Well, umami, is, there's so much going on with right. everything in this environment and umami in general. Right. But I've tried to create some cleansing cocktails. I've tried right. to create some really heavy alcohol cocktails that are okay. stirred and balanced and really delicious. Uh, but also one like our Michimami, which is tequila, our own tomato, kind of spiced up tomato right. juice, and beer. So we have booze, we have umami we're coming through with tomato and spices, and then right. cleanse with beer. Okay. So that's what I think works really well with this food. So you guys are reinventing some of the classic drinks, how are you doing that? So I've got one called Ninth and Broadway. Um, obviously this was a mecca of like cosmopolitan activity right. back in the day. Uh, so my ode is, it's like a Manhattan style, but it's an ode to Ninth and Broadway and where we are. So that's Woodford Reserve Bourbon, Carpano Antica Formula, Sweet Vermouth. Right. And the flavor that I adore right now is apricot. So apricot liqueur with a fresh dash of uh, bitters. So Delicious. Jerry can of it, Jerry Thomas bitters. That sounds good. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? Where are you from? How did so, you get started? Uh, as you can tell from the accent, I'm from <laughs> Australia, a little place called Tasmania. Really? So, and I've also <laughs> lived in New Zealand, okay. uh, London, uh -huh. San Francisco, and LA. Yeah. Um, I've got a couple of different caps that I wear. I'm a bartender. Yeah. I'm consulting on this program, which is fantastic. And I'm also right. a portfolio mixologist with Bacardi. Oh, wow. So I've got plenty to keep me busy. Awesome. That's awesome. Definitely. Sure. Busy schedule. But I've been in this business since I was 18. So right. I was in, in the kitchens with my grandfather and uncle when I, in my school holidays, when I was yeah. 16 and still at school. Right. Um, and then I've been doing this ever since. So everything I like to say from catering to cruise ships, right. nightclubs to cocktail bars, everything in between. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time. Yes, my pleasure. <laughs> cheers. All right, cheers. We did our chat chow interview right outside the ferry building with some charcuterie from none other than Bacalo. So oh, we're so excited to see you here Thank in you. LA. Thank you. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here, you know. Coming to Los Angeles, it's a, it's a very different place. And right. uh, even though it's a very short plane ride, it's a completely different town, a it completely is. different food style. And to be welcomed into the city, it's just been really nice. All the animals, why pig? <laughs> well, I think pig is a really special animal. Um, it is truly magical. Right. Um, you can eat everything, you know. There's been that old saying, you can eat everything but the oink. The reason to buck the oink was because nobody could figure out how to catch the oink. So one year I'll catch an oink. Nice, nice. Can you explain a little bit about the nose to tail concept of eating and cooking? You know, nose to tail is just really truly giving respect to the animal for it being sacrificed for food. So it's just not wasting and doing the best you can to use every little part of it and making it taste delicious. It's a very simple thing. It's, not, it's nothing more than just making great food and giving the animal respect. Awesome. And um, how long have you been doing this? Can you tell us your background a little bit? Um, or, or? Well, I've been at Encanto for over nine plus years. Right. And prior to that, I worked at different restaurants all throughout the Bay Area, as well as, you know, abroad. And so I'm from New England, I moved to D.C., from D.C. to San right, Francisco, right, right. San Francisco out of San Francisco, back east, right. back to San Francisco. I've worked in London, I've worked in Singapore. So I've, I've had quite a bit of travel experience, but the majority of my hard working experience has been in San Francisco. Great. One last question. Sure. Um, tell us a little bit about the pig sushi. <laughs> oh, the pork crudo. So we're going to be actually pushing some of that out just a little bit. Nice. Uh, the pork crudo is Iberco, mm -hmm. the Meota pork, okay. 
and it's sliced very thin like sashimi, dressed very lightly, okay. and just served as raw pork. Well, we're so excited to try it. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, it's great meeting you. Nice All right, so Adam, you opened a lot of restaurants. Yeah. something different so we did a big deli space with different menus and you know it was a risk and we're hoping it works out so far I'm confident. Mommy is sort of like the savory flavor that we try and put in all the different dishes. It's a good new flavor that we work with. A lot of Japanese ingredients and things. Definitely. And you're working a lot in the cure, kind of like your yeah. concept of the deli. Can you tell us about yeah, that? Yeah, we're trying to do our version of like a New York kosher style deli. So we're doing all this stuff from scratch. And lots of also big dishes. New menu items. We're doing a wonderful um, a wild shrimp burger with yuzu kushu on it, yuzu and chili. And we're also doing some sashimi, potato salad, and wasabi. So we're trying to make those Japanese flavor like hybrid and American. Alright, thank you. Thanks for coming.